Hey guys, welcome back to Geek J, where we make tech, tutorials, and gaming simpler and better. Today we're showing how to update OptiScaler to its newer versions, like the latest as of the recording of this video, uh, 0.7.7 .7 pre-13, using the installer and uninstaller, and it works for any game. We'll use Stalker 2 as a guide, but yeah, you can do the same, the exact same for any of the games you've been using OptiScaler. So let's dive in. So first, let's see where we're at. I'm going to launch the game. As always, I'm going to be using my mod organizer too, because in the previous video that you can find up here, I believe, we basically modded the game by installing Shay's Living Zone Complete. And yeah, it's a pretty cool mod, but let's run the game. You can do this uh, in an unmodded game as well if you're just using OptiScaler, but yeah. And while we're loading, yes, this is a Demon Slayer Mugen Train t-shirt that my wife got for me, but she's a bigger fan than me, don't let her know. Okay, we're just gonna load into an old save just to demonstrate everything is working, but we are in an older version basically. Uh, okay, let's hit insert. As you can see, it says 077 pre 12. Let me set the upscaler to FSR and uh, untick the FSR inputs, we're gonna say save I and I. Let's see, over here, if we go to graphics, we do have DLSS DLAA, and uh, yeah, everything else is as we need it to be. Uh, the reflex is enabled, and I think we do have uh, anti lag 2 working, so if I press Alt, Shift, and L, multiple times we'll get to this screen over here and as you can see we do have um antilag 2 actually working i am recording with obs so just as i've said in multiple videos before i'm gonna say it again it does take a lot of uh, computing power uh from both the cpu and gpu when i am recording videos as i am recording in a pretty uh high standard i should say because i want you guys to get the best quality possible but yeah this is the experience we're getting right now and as you can see once again over here it says optiscaler version 077 pre 12 so yep this is the older version so let's go ahead and press insert again to close out of optiscaler and we're going to quit out of the game so yeah, it's time to upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, we're going to head to our game install folder. And usually it's in whatever drive you've installed it. If you have multiple Steam libraries because you have multiple drives, just like me, it's going to be, you know, where you installed it. The easiest way if you have a Steam installation is just go into your uh, Steam and then right click on your game the option says browse local files so just use that if you want to manually do it you know if you know where you've installed the game and it's not through steam and it's through game pass or something i think you'll figure it out so once we're here as always we're gonna need to find the actual exe of the game so not this one we're gonna have to go into this stalker 2 folder then binaries win64 and this is where the actual exe of the game is located the stalker 2 win 64 shippingexe and as you can see we have optiscaler files over here and the optiscaler has changed its name so before if uh, we did this manually we wouldn't know or maybe we would have forgotten what we renamed optiscaler to so there's multiple options we can go with the typical dxgi dot uh, dll but there are so many other options like version dll wim dot dll which one was it for this specific game so the developer of optiscaler has made it a lot easier by adding an installer and uninstaller so 
If we run the uh, .bat file over here, it says remove optiscalar.bat. Um, Coping is strong with this one. <laughs> Do you want to remove OptiScaler? And you have the two options of yes or no. We're going to say yes. And it's going to try and find all related folders, probably through uh, checking the names of the files and folders. And if they're present, they're going to be removed. Press any key to continue. And as you can see, there is no DXGI over here. And uh, yeah, there is no OptiScaler anymore or the INI of the OptiScaler and all that stuff. So what do we do next? So after the uninstaller is done, that's great. Now we need to go to the OptiScaler GitHub as we've always done. And I'm gonna have a link in the description below. And we are going to download the latest version. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are at the OptiScaler GitHub main page. As always, we're going to click on this plus 17 releases on the right side under the releases uh, tab over here or category. And as you can see, we have the nightly builds and uh, it says changes since 077 pre 9. And as you can see, the latest version is pre 13 and this is the date the 19th of july so if we scroll down we will click on this little arrow for the assets and as you can see it has the older versions uh renamed as older and the latest version doesn't have the older uh text in it so up to scalar 077 pre 13 and the date so go ahead and download this 7z file so after we've downloaded this 7z file, we're going to double click on it. And uh, you can see over here, we have all the newer in quotes uh, versions of these files. We only need three files as we've done before. So we're going to select them, set up windows.bat, optiscaler.ini and optiscaler.dll. And we're going to copy them at the exact same location. So I'm just going to drag and drop them in here. And now to complete the installation, we need to run the uh, setup underscore windows dot bat file. So basically this is a very safe way to avoid deleting the wrong files and all that stuff. So uh, really quick and uh, uh, no fuss, no mess. We just select the same options as we did the last time as it works. I'm gonna select number one, which is the default and it's going to be uh, naming the DLL file as dxgi.dll. Press enter. Then I'm going to say I have an AMD Intel uh, GPU. So select number one again. And then it will ask me if I'm going to use the DLSS inputs and I need to have spoofing enabled and all that stuff, which we've already taken care of. I'm going to say again, number one for a yes. And then press any key to continue. And we are almost done. Don't forget, we need to uh, change any settings we had changed in the INI uh, file before. So in this situation, we're going to go under frame gen and for FG type, as you remember, we need to type in Lukems and we're going to save and exit out of this. So we're good to go. Let's launch Stalker 2 once again and uh, check out the results. Alrighty, we're in the game. Hit insert. And would you look at that? We are on OptiScaler 077 pre 13, correct date and everything. Let's change to our own settings. We need the 314 AppScaler, untick the use FSR input values, save I and I. And as you can see, everything is working as intended. Let's go with Alt, Shift and L multiple times. And as you can see, we do have Antilag 2 basically working. Everything is working as intended. That's pretty good. So just so you know, guys, this installer method works for anything we've used OptiScaler before. So Oblivion Remastered, 
Monster Hunter Wilds, you name it, it works for everything. So that's it Geeks J Squad. Update OptiScaler in any game with this easy installer trick. Showcased on Stalker 2 on this video, you can grab it on GitHub. Again, all the links are, you know where. If this levels up your setup, smash that like button, subscribe, click on that bell to never miss another video, and drop a comment with which game you'll try it on. Stay geeky, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye.